going to learn an important classification of differential equations. So uh, this classification is classification based on homogeneity. So that means whether a differential equation is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. Now this is very important because it has a very big physical meaning, uh, but not only that. Before we solve a differential equation, the first step would be to identify whether it's as homogeneous or non-homogeneous. So, so that's very important, right? So we will be solving differential equations in future chapters. So right away when you see a differential equation, well, you should say, ah, this is a homogeneous differential equation or no, this is a non-homogeneous differential equation. So, uh, but the problem is the definition or the meaning that out there for the homogeneous differential equation is a little bit tricky and very abstract. So let me give you a simple way to identify a differential equation as homogeneous or not. Okay. So to do that, let me touch the physical meaning. What, what is it physically means to be a homogeneous differential equation. So let's say you have a string and a mass attached to it. Okay, so a pendulum. Now, if you let this pendulum naturally oscillate, like you wouldn't even touch it. Okay, it start to oscillate naturally. That can be modeled by a homogeneous differential equation. But let's say I'm going to give extra push to uh, this mass or this pendulum or like a force, then when we model this differential equation or we try to, when we try to write a differential equation for the behavior of this pendulum, you have to take that force into account, right? So that force, that external push that you gave, uh, that's, that, that will account for a non-homogeneous differential equation, okay? So, uh, so non-homogeneity is sort of a, like a force uh, or the, the app, uh, what that application is uh, driven by. So that sort of a thing. So it's, it's really hard to uh, lay it down explicitly, but that's the idea of a non-homogeneous differential equation. Now, what is the mathematical explanation of that? Well, as I said, it's very abstract, but let's keep it simple. So to check the homogeneity, what we can do is, well, y is the unknown, the dependent variable. We substitute y is equal to zero to the differential equation. Okay, substitute y is equal to zero. So y zero means what is it, what is the derivative of y going to be? Zero, right? So all the derivatives are going to be zero. dy over dx will be zero. d square y, the second derivative will be zero because of course, when you differentiate zero, you get zero no matter how many times you differentiate. So let's substitute that into the differential equation and see. So if you take this uh, equation 11, for example, so if you substitute y is equal to zero, so we would have x times dy over dx is zero, so x times zero, dot means multiplication, okay, plus sine x times, remember we didn't substitute anything for x but y is 0 so here y is 0 so sine x dot 0 so i substitute y is equal to 0 to the left hand side so see what happens x times 0 is 0 sine x times 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 so left hand side of the equation is going to be 0 when you substitute 0 to the differential equation and apparently the right hand side is also 0 right so what does that mean so that means when y is equal to zero, the equation holds, right? Equation means left hand side and right hand side should be the same. That's the meaning of an equation. It's like a balance, right? So when you substitute y is equal to zero, the balance holds, okay? So y is equal to zero, it's a solution of the differential equation or the differential equation holds for y is equal to zero. So it's sort of like that idea that I said naturally driven. Okay, like, like the pendulum naturally driven, so so, driven, something like that. Then it becomes homogeneous. So when, when the differential equation holds for y is equal to zero, then your differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. But versus this equation, so let's, let's do the process again. If you substitute y is equal to zero, here x times zero will be zero. On the left hand side here sine x times 0 is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 on the left hand side 
but right hand side is not zero it's cosine x so this is not an equation I mean I mean the left hand side is not equal to right hand side so there's no balance so that means this is not naturally driven this cosine x drives the equation or the, the y is equal to zero is not a solution of this second differential equation so this is a non-homogeneous differential equation so really how do you check whether a differential equation is homogeneous or not substitute y is equal to zero to the differential equation if left hand side and right hand side are same happens to be zero zero and same then you have a homogeneous differential equation but if left hand side is not equal to right hand side that then that's a non-homogeneous differential equation okay so another quick thing that i can tell you it's not going to work every time but it it's it's a lifesaver okay so what's the difference between these two equations just take a look at those two equations i mean the left hand side the same right right hand side no here zero here cosine x now that cosine x is the one that created a non-homogeneity right this is a homogeneous differential equation this is a non-homogeneous differential equation so this cosine x isn't that the isolated function that's what we call the isolated function in the previous video right when we talk about the linearity it's not a coefficient of y you derivatives of y so it's sort of a isolated or the right hand side function let's let's call it that so if you have a non-zero right hand side function that's a non-homogeneous differential equation like cosine x here right but again it's it's tricky okay someone can write this differential equation as sine x times y minus cosine x is equal to zero so you should be able to see that well that cosine x can be taken into the right hand side and written differential equation can be written in that way also but i think i think you should get the idea what i meant there okay so the lifesaver is substitute y is equal to zero if left hand side is equal to right hand side that's a homogeneous differential equation if not that's a non-homogeneous differential equation okay all right so thank you very much i will see you in the next video